torrential rains at the present time uh, moving through this squall line. So whatever uh, there was was definitely to our north, guys, on the uh, on the north side of the DeSoto Bridge. Again, reports of a, of a tornado on the ground there. As we uh, get more information on that, we will pass it along to you. We have lost power, uh, if you will, around the Tom Lee Park area here. Some of it on the other side of the street is on, so it's obviously sporadic power outages. But with the kind of wind gusts, you know, over 50 miles an hour easily, the kind of rain that we're getting, and certainly uh, if we, we have had some type of a tornado or, or, or a damaging wind gust, a downburst, you can easily get wind damage with this, uh, not to mention power outages. So that's what we're looking at. We're hunkered down inside the vehicle. You're looking outside the uh, doors that we have uh, propped open in through here, but you can't see much, uh, and neither, neither can we. All we can do is see the thunder, or see the lightning, I should say, and hear the thunder from time to time as all this moves overhead. Temperatures are obviously cooling down with this, and, um, you know, we're, we're going to see a repeat, we think, as we get in towards Sunday with our severe weather. I want to bring in our severe weather expert, Dr. Greg Forbes. And, Greg, what are you seeing on chat, and what are you seeing on the radar tonight? Well, I've seen a possible tornado uh, in Crawfordsville there. We've seen a number of places along this line, uh, semis overturned, blown off the road. Right now, uh, here is Memphis, and the best circulation is showing up, and that's ba uh, causing the tornado warning. This little kink right in here, a little bit of a rotation that way, and then the inflow coming into that little notch there. So that's been the area near Crawfordsville, east of Jericho, heading toward the Millington area, where there's been an unconfirmed report of a tornado at the University of Millington. Let me show you the velocities on this, uh, the storm relative velocities. And you see right in here, that little green, that would be a southbound, the red northbound. So coming uh, there toward the Millington area. And I did a slice through this storm, and it's a, a pretty spectacular uh, little storm here. This little hole here is where the updraft comes in. This is the main rear part of the storm, and then it's pushing its anvil ahead. Some of the rain's coming down ahead of that, could be giving wind gusts. Uh, but this is a non-supercell tornado, giving a, a possible tornado right in the leading edge of the line in five or six places now along the line from Kentucky down into Arkansas. Grissom. Dr. Forbes will continue to track severe weather tonight on Weather Center. A dangerous situation unfolding in the Mid-South. They have those storm radios on. We'll be right back with more live continuing coverage. The Weather Channel is brought to you by this cable or satellite provider. You can also get reliable forecasts from the Weather Channel through this radio station or newspaper. Great stories, great shows. The Weather Channel, prime for excitement. And now, your local on the 8th. Currently in our area, 37 degrees under cloudy skies. Our local Doppler radar. For tonight, rain and wind, low 33, winds northeast at 20 to 30 miles per hour, rainfall around a half an inch. And on Friday, windy, mix of rain and snow showers, high 34, winds north-northwest at 25 to 35 miles per hour, chance of precipitation 40%. And Friday night, considerable cloudiness, low 24, winds north at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And on Saturday, cloudy skies, high 40, winds east at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook. Wake up with Al and your weather today. Weekday mornings from 6 to 11 on the Weather Channel. 
What a night it has been for severe weather. Our live uh, Memphis Tower cam and just moments ago watching this unfold with the uh, flashes of lightning and the tornado sirens going off. Now a tornado reported just northwest of Memphis. And they have at least uh, extended that uh, latest warning across the area. That tornado warning for uh, including portions of northeastern Shelby County in southwest Tennessee as well as southeastern Tipton County now goes until 745 Central Time. Uh, we'll continue to track the weather as we head through the next uh, few hours here into the early morning hours. Good evening and thanks for joining us on Weather Center. I'm Crystal Lager. And I'm Todd Santos. Time now 8 o'clock Eastern, 7 Central, tracking some of these dangerous storms. Again, we have had numerous reports uh, of tornadoes this evening. One of those, again, just northwest of Memphis. And again, I just, I just mentioned that uh, warning has now been extended until 745. Also for Fayette County and North Southern Haywood County, also in southwestern Tennessee. Instead of our scheduled programming tonight of Storm Riders, we are continuing continuing extended live coverage of the severe weather across the nation. Let's get you the very latest now on our live action radar and where we have these severe weather alerts. Notice the outlined red areas. That's where we have tornado watches through 10 o'clock central. This means conditions are favorable for tornadoes to develop here, including parts of eastern Arkansas and really under the gun right now, western Tennessee. And a couple watch boxes have been added for southeast Missouri and parts of Kentucky as well. And you see the line itself. As that moves into your area, we were actually watching on the Memphis Tower Cam. Conditions went from uh, where you could actually see a little bit in the distance to getting down to less than a quarter mile. In some cases, uh, Jim was even mentioning an eighth mile or less visibility. So if you're traveling through some of these areas uh, and you can see what's coming on, uh, say, in your direction from the west, it may be time to even try to take cover and get off some of the roads, considering that is a blinding rain situation, as well as along the line itself, wind gusts easily 70 miles per hour. We have live team coverage of the severe weather in Tennessee with storm tracker Jim Cantori and meteorologist Mike Seidel is live south of San Francisco where you're seeing some of the coldest temperatures in 35 years. And let's uh, begin now with uh, storm tracker Jim Cantori who's in Memphis, Tennessee. Jim, I know you had to uh, kind of get inside the truck for a little while there. What's the story at this hour? Yeah, still a little bit too much lightning out there, guys, and you'll probably notice that we can't bring you a live picture. Or maybe we can at times, but because the satellite dish is pointed down to the south, it's pointing right through the squall line, which essentially extends from northern Mississippi uh, up over downtown Memphis through Covington up to Dyersburg, where there are several notches, as Dr. Forbes has been talking about, uh, that may have a tornado on the leading edge of that. Right now, reports of a possible tornado up toward Crawfordsville, which was off to our northwest, that was earlier, and then even in Obion County, uh, where we had a possible tornado as well. Nothing confirmed, no damage, no reports of damage yet. But again, you know how there's a lag, guys. When you get a report, then it, when, certainly when there's rain like this and the lightning, uh, it takes a while to get out there. Certainly, if there hasn't been emergency crews activated, we'll find out uh, certainly in the next, I'd say, hour as all this stuff moves on through. But basically, the entire line through West Tennessee uh, all the way into northwest Mississippi has got a warning on it of some sort, whether it be tornado or severe thunderstorm, as these storms continue at times to race off to the northeast at about 35 miles per hour. But it looks more like, you know, bow echo structures to me. And uh, again, if you're going to have a tornado, they're not going to be very long living. You probably won't see them at all. They may even be wrapped in rain. I want to bring in our severe weather expert, Dr. Greg Forbes, and talk a little bit more about this, Greg. Um, you know, we didn't see the supercells develop ahead of the main line today, but either way, a tornado threat's a tornado threat, isn't it? Yeah, it certainly is, and in many respects, these kind of tornadoes are more dangerous. They form very quickly. Sometimes they're very hard to see, and of course, now they're at night, so it's hard to uh, see them coming. And as you mentioned, we do have these little line segments or notches in the line. Still three storms, one up in Kentucky, that's uh, Callaway and Graves County. Another one up near Dyersburg. I'll come back and show you that one. And another north of uh, Memphis near the Millington area. Let's go to Graphics 14. We'll start with that storm north of Memphis. And right here, you see a little bit of a dogleg. It comes southwest, then surges a little bit more southeast, and then bends back around. So that little kink there, it's almost right over the radar now, the Memphis radar at Millington heading its way uh, toward the Mason area. There could be a tornado there. Uh, it's so close to the radar that I can't do much in the way of slicing there. But let's go to the next storm up. And it, too, has these little kinks. In fact, several little mini kinks there uh, with a possible tornado uh, coming toward the Dyersburg Halls Friendship area. Could be a shifting winds across that. Let's take a quick look and see what we see in terms of the winds across there. Yes, you see reds going northbound and green southbound. Uh, and look how tight they are. So there's some possible little mini tornadoes that will form in that location. And I, if I take a slice through here, 
uh, you can see that this storm is leaning forward. So the inflow comes in here. The strong winds aloft that are making these storms move 60 to 70 miles per hour, leading the storm forward. And sometimes there can be tornadoes that form on the leading edge of that. So that's the nature of what we're getting tonight. Uh, rotations quick form, quick dissipate here and there. Spotty tornado damage, spotty damaging wind get damage along the leading edge of this squall line with little kinks in it can produce tornadoes, that's for sure. And we'll talk more about Torcon coming up in the next segment. All right, Dr. Forbes, we'll continue to follow severe weather developments for everyone out there tonight. Right now, major system moving through the Tennessee Valley. It's not slowing down. Uh, not at all, at least at this hour. Again, we'll have continuing coverage. Find the instant alerts as well at the bottom of your screen. We'll have expert analysis and again, more on the warnings of the threat. Again, not coming up. When your eyes are smiling, you're smiling. And when they're laughing, for tonight, rain and wind, low 33, winds northeast at 20 to 30 miles per hour, rainfall around a half an inch. And on Friday, windy, mix of rain and snow showers, high 34, winds north-northwest at 25 to 35 miles per hour, chance of precipitation 40%. And Friday night, considerable cloudiness, low 24, winds north at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And on Saturday, cloudy skies, high 40, winds east at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Our seven day outlook, Moments ago, we heard the sirens going off in Shelby County there in Tennessee, just north of Memphis under a tornado warning. We continue to track dangerous weather, significant severe weather threat across the Tennessee Valley right now. And we have crews out covering the storm pretty much in the line of fire. But we want to show you the latest here on live action radar as we continue to watch the squall line move through. Yeah, and even some of these spots, Shelby County, say Western Shelby County now under a flash flood warning considering we're dealing with heavy rainfall, but had traveled just a little bit farther towards the east. Again, that's where we're talking about northeastern Shelby County there in southwest Tennessee until 745 southeastern Tipton County as well, uh, both under tornado warnings, Fayette County and Haywood counties uh, again also included in that warning. You can see the line itself. You also see those red boxes. Those are the tornado warnings areas that right now uh, you should be taking cover considering in many cases these could easily be rain wrapped tornadoes. We're talking about very gusty winds uh, blowing that rain all over the place in many cases directly sideways uh, in and around some of these segments. Of course, we're also dealing with some very gusty winds, especially out ahead of that. So even if you're not uh, inside of one of the tornado warnings, it would not be uh, out of the question to hear or see some pretty big winds coming in just in advance of that line. Yeah, not too far away. Jackson, Tennessee. Well, right now our severe weather expert Dr. Greg Forbes has been tweaking the exclusive uh, tornado condition index for us all day long. Dr. Forbes, you're giving today some of the highest Torcon ratings of the season and a lot of changes throughout the day. Talk about that. What's the very latest right now? Yeah, and the activity right now is in the area where I have given the highest values for today. That was a seven on a scale of 10. Now, uh, we haven't uh, had a whole lot of severe weather, so let's talk a little bit about tor uh, this. Torcon is a tornado condition index, and it basically it's a number from zero to 10 that indicates what I think the chances are of a tornado occurring within 50 miles. Now, seven, you multiply that by 10, and you get 70%. So that's 70% chance of a tornado within 50 miles. I estimate these based on the weather factors, the amount of instability needed for severe thunderstorms, the wind ingredients at low levels that allow the storms to develop tornadoes, and then the trigger to get this all started. And they've come together this evening, especially for southeast Arkansas up into uh, eastern Arkansas and west Tennessee up into west Kentucky. So 
The activity is mostly right in around here at this point. As we go later into the night, it'll push its way from northern Louisiana into central Louisiana, up across into central and uh, east Mississippi, northern Alabama, and across parts of the state of Kentucky and Tennessee, gradually becoming more of a damaging wind threat and less of a tornado threat. But we're still in this southeast Arkansas where I've given a 6, 60% chance of a tornado within 50 miles. We're, the squall line is in that Mississippi, Tennessee, Arkansas area that I've given the 7, 70% chance of a tornado. And then a little bit farther to the north, it's not quite as unstable uh, for Kentucky, 40% chance and probably 30 to 40% chance uh, for northern Alabama and farther east in uh, Tennessee. Now tonight the storms are uh, tapping a lot of low level wind shear. Tomorrow that wind shear and the low level jet will be farther to the east. So let's go to our other source and see the outlook for tomorrow. I don't think it's going to be quite as solid a squall line. The storms will not have as much instability tomorrow, but there will be a strong low level jet 5,000 feet or less at around 70 plus miles per hour. So some of the any kind of intense storms, in fact, could push those winds to the ground. So from the southern coast of New England to Long Island, New Jersey, Philadelphia, Baltimore, Washington, down into Norfolk and Raleigh, maybe South Carolina as well. Uh, the rule would be spotty damaging winds and just like we're seeing tonight, these little surges, sometimes you'll get a brief tornado spin up as well, although I think tomorrow that threat is less. Uh, Todd. All right, thanks so much, Dr. Forbes. Want to take you back to the radar just to give kind of a look at the overview. Notice that uh, large red box and the other one extending uh, basically through uh, portions of southwestern Kentucky, western Tennessee. Those are the tornado watch boxes that are in effect until 10 o'clock local time. We're talking 10 central, <coughs> excuse me, potential for hail up to two inches. But the biggest issues we've had have been some of these isolated tornadoes as well as a large area with wind gusts easily up to 70 miles per hour. You see all of those yellow small boxes. Those are the severe thunderstorm warnings in many cases primarily because of these wind gusts. And back to our live Memphis shot. Quieting down now compared to what we saw just a few moments ago, but you will be out of the threat, Memphis, as the squall line moves off to the, moves off to the east. But uh, not just yet. We're getting reports of about 6,000 customers without power in parts of Shelby County. Dangerous winds. We'll have the very latest. Coverage continues. I've never tasted anything so delicious. Richard, why are you wearing Grandpa's jacket? I'm not Richard. The options you love about our front loads are now available in our top loads. Remarkable energy savings, extraordinary capacity. Introducing the no compromise Kenmore Elite Top Load Washers. Save now at Sears. The weather man. It's been a crazy winter and it's just getting crazier. The weather team. We have breaking news for you this morning. We are getting remarkable images and stories. Weekday mornings from 6 to 11 Eastern. Your daily forecast, news headlines, and the top story. Literally the worst conditions I think I've ever been in. Ready when you are, no matter the weather. Nine states under blizzard warnings. Nine states. Wake up with Al and your weather today. Weekday mornings from... I'm back to doing what I love and more. I work 8-10 hours a day. Probably 60% of the time I'm on my feet. I'm dead if I can't walk. I had severe pains in my feet. I'm walking around like this at night. So once I get my, my inserts there, I can stand up straight. I'm six foot one again. It took about two days for all the pain to go away. No pain. No pain. Zero pain. Pain. Thanks to the Good Feet Store. Maybe it's the lid switch? I don't even know what that is. Okay, do you see the inlet connector? The lights? Do we have a coupling wrench? Okay, I'll call my dad. Dad! Hi, honey. The washer's going nuts. We tried the hose, the filters. Did you try to unplug it? Get the answers you need fast. Roadrunner Turbo. At Time Warner Cable, we're moving technology forward. Thanks, Dad. I'll call the plumber. A cute one? to bring you back to the connections that matter. Roadrunner Internet plans start as low as $19.95 per month. Upgrade to Roadrunner Turbo for an even faster connection. D. Johnson, a family company. For continuing live coverage of ongoing severe weather across the country, stay with the Weather Channel. Now you're local on the 8s. Currently in our area, 37 degrees under cloudy skies. Our local Doppler radar.
for tonight. Windy with rain likely. Low, 31. Winds northeast at 20 to 30 miles per hour. Rainfall around a half an inch. And on Friday, windy with a wintry mix of precipitation. High, 33. Chance of precipitation, 60%. One to three inches of snow expected. And Friday night, mainly cloudy. Low, 24. Winds north at five to 10 miles per hour. And on Saturday, cloudy, high, 40. Winds east at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Our week ahead. our coverage of the first significant severe weather outbreak here across the Mid-South first of the year and we're watching areas such as Memphis. The tornado sirens were going off just about 30 minutes ago and a number of reports you see on the right side of your screen along the squall line. The squiggly blue lines those are damaging winds. A lot of wind as this rolled through and a few tornado reports as well. Some of these right on the border there with Arkansas and Tennessee. This has not been confirmed just yet. Uh, but these are areas where train spotters did report either seeing a funnel cloud or an actual tornado. And that one uh, that uh, Mike just clicked on right there is actually uh, the one that spawned that warning that basically uh, the cell that we're following all the way over into portions of Shelby County, uh, Tennessee. Again, that uh, area is still sh southeastern Shelby County uh, is uh, still southwest Tennessee is still under that tornado warning until 8 o'clock central time. So again, a number of uh, specific places along this line to keep a close eye on. If you're along the line itself, you can pretty much guarantee that you're going to be seeing lightning, very heavy winds, as well as the chance for some localized flooding. Uh, and the winds, again, upwards of even 70 miles per hour. There have been a number of severe thunderstorm warnings as well, primarily being triggered by the winds. But a quick look at some of the tornado warnings. Uh, there is at least one parish there in northern Louisiana uh, that is under a warning until 730. Uh, and again, you can see that uh, cell again also moving off towards the east. All of these storms moving at a very good clip between, in some cases, 50 to almost 70 miles per hour. Again, some very quick moving cells shifting a little bit farther north. Uh, we can talk about at least some of these other warnings, especially through western portions of Tennessee, eastern Arkansas, and even now into western Kentucky. Just saw a new warning fire up uh, there. Of course, uh, Mike, if you can kind of click through some of these counties just so folks in the area can get an idea. Again, time to take cover considering, as I mentioned, these are quick moving storms, likely uh, kind of hid by some of the rain uh, that is in many cases blowing uh, directly sideways. We'd seen the Memphis Tower came earlier uh, where you really couldn't see anything for a short amount of time. Now starting to get back to normal there. However, they're still dealing with some of the very heavy rainfall and, and again as I mentioned even in through western portions of Kentucky dealing with some uh, warnings at this hour uh, one of those uh, at least through uh, northeastern Callaway County uh, southeastern Lyon County Marshall County as well Trigg County until 745 uh, again that uh, the rotation was actually picked up about two miles north of Murray that system again is also moving northeast at about 55 miles per hour so again, as I mentioned almost all of these cells uh, really keeping some pretty good storm motion in there yeah producing either isolated tornadoes or damaging winds in fact the Memphis Airport reporting wind gusts as high as 49 miles per hour and the latest notice coming in about 6,000 customers without power through parts of Shelby County. We were talking with storm tracker Jim Cantori earlier. He was live out there at the Tomley Park area and suddenly uh, the lights went out on the bridge. So he said we have some sort of power outages and uh, we're definitely getting word of that tonight. And we'll continue to follow it to follow this developing situation. Another story that we're watching, of course, uh, frigid cold moving into parts of the West. I should say Maybe not frigid for some, but definitely not what we're used to here. And in some cases, even cold enough to produce snow, maybe in the South Bay area of uh, California. Let's send out to Mike Seidel, who's in the area. Bracing for snow, Mike? Yeah, we're in the South Bay here in the Santa Cruz Mountains, about an hour south of San Francisco. Oh, the cloud bases are lowering up there. You can see the uh, clouds, the stratus down into the trees here. And you go up about 1,500 feet above our elevation where we're at 2,000 feet. And there's four or five inches of snow on the ground from last weekend. Check the forecast now. What we're talking about is that upper low off the uh, northwest coast spinning its way down California, down the California coast. That will lower the snow levels down to 1,000 feet by tomorrow morning. We're expecting uh, snowfall, Mount Tam, down here by midday tomorrow, maybe several inches at this elevation, higher elevations as much as six inches. And then the same storm will head into Southern California with rain and snow Friday night and Saturday. By Saturday, we could have I-5 on the grapevine shut down. And guys, the real story that's going to impact a lot of folks by Saturday morning, record setting temperatures possible, including a 37 in San Francisco, which would tie the record. Back to you guys. 
Oh boy, quite a story there, an Oscar weekend unfolding yeah. also. So right. see how that plays out. Well, coming up, we've got continuing coverage of severe weather across the Tennessee Valley. Our severe weather experts, Dr. Greg Forbes, of course, will be back with the very latest as we continue to watch the squall line plow off to the east. Oh, yeah, again, get ready. If you're looking at this thing coming towards your area, at the very least, you'll be seeing some gusty winds, very heavy rainfall. We have a number of active warnings across this line. Of course, you can always get the very latest and actually read the warning text weather.com and of course all our uh, mobile platforms as well. I'll give you access to that locally. A very good thing to at least have an idea to be certainly informed. Stay safe tonight. Have those storm radios on. And again, if a warning goes off for your area, it is time to take cover. These will be very difficult tornadoes to see if they're out there. When you're a stop woman, work can be pretty unpredictable, from knowing when my next job will be to what I'll actually be doing. So in the rest of my life, I like control, especially in my finances. That's why I have Slate with Blueprint. I can make a plan to pay off everyday things and avoid interest, or pay down my balance faster on the big stuff. That saves money. With Slate from Chase, I have everything under control. You're gonna get it. Financially. Debit card control and credit card flexibility. Get both with Slate. A hungry road that wouldn't let drivers get very far. Then along came the Michelin man who proved the right tire changes everything. Michelin Hydro Edge tires last up to 33,000 miles longer. Michelin, a better way forward. I can't get rid of these weeds or these nasal allergies. I know what works differently than many other allergy medications. Omneris. Omneris. To the nose. Did you know nasal symptoms like congestion can be caused by allergic inflammation? Omneris relieves your symptoms by fighting inflammation. Side effects may include headache, nosebleed, and sore throat. I nip my allergy symptoms in the bud. Omneris. Ask your doctor. Battling nasal allergy symptoms? Omneris combats the cause. Get Omneris for only $11 at Omneris.com. Quality and reliability are more than words here. It's personal. I have diabetes. So I'm proud to manufacture the AccuCheck Aviva meters and test strips here in the USA. And now we put a prescription discount card in every box so you'll pay no more than $15 on test strips, which is a true American value for people with diabetes like me. AccuCheck Aviva, born in the USA. The weekend is coming! The weekend is coming! The weekend is coming! This Saturday at Ace, take 20% off almost anything that fits into an Ace bag so you can turn your to-do list into a to-done list. Get ready for the weekend at Ace, the helpful place. Hey, I am really distracted by this sandwich. I'm probably going to veer in your lane, so watch out. Accidents don't announce themselves. That's why the RX helps protect you with 360 degrees of safety. See your Lexus dealer. How are you getting to a happier place? Running there? Dancing there? How about eating soup to get there? Campbell's soups fill you with good nutrition, farm-grown ingredients, and can help you keep a healthy weight. Campbell's, it's amazing what soup can do. Osteobiflex is a great product. I can go back and do gardening with comfort. Osteobiflex with five locks in advance shows improvement in joint comfort within seven days. Osteobiflex, now available in a new and different one-per-day formula. A lot of weather. Brutally cold. A big problem. There's a lot of action across the country. Cancellations across the board. And a little fun. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Wake up with Al and your weather today. Weekday mornings from 6 to 11 Eastern on the Weather Channel. For continuing live coverage of ongoing severe weather across the country, stay with the Weather Channel. Now you're local on the 8s. Currently, the temperature is 37 degrees under cloudy skies. local Doppler radar.
for tonight. Windy with rain likely. Low, 31. Winds northeast at 20 to 30 miles per hour. Rainfall around a half an inch. And on Friday, windy with a wintry mix of precipitation. High, 33. Chance of precipitation, 60%. One to three inches of snow expected. And Friday night, mainly cloudy. Low, 24. Winds north at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And on Saturday, cloudy, high, 40. Winds east at 5 to 10 miles per hour. The week ahead. And good evening, everyone, from Memphis, Tennessee, where the sirens are still going off here in Memphis, even though for the city, the threat has pushed off to the east. Still some action for the suburbs in through here. We've got some pretty heavy rain coming down now, and boy, I'll tell you, it was a close call there for a while. We'll talk about this and where the threat continues tonight, coming up here on Weather Center. staying with us tonight on Weather Center. We continue to track dangerous storms moving through the Tennessee Valley. And instead of our scheduled programming, of course, we, uh, we're going to bring you live continuing coverage, extended shows all night into the early morning hours as we track the weather across the nation. All right, well, 7.30 right now, Central Time. We have a number of tornado watches that are in effect uh, across the area. One who uh, take a at least quick look out there at this line. Again, you can see at least some of those watch boxes extending through southwestern Tennessee, uh, even, of course, in southwestern Kentucky, and even back down, uh, even into Mississippi, a number of severe weather warnings going on along that line. Certainly uh, not limited to some of those tornado warnings that are going on through much of western Tennessee at this hour. Well, let's bring in storm tracker Jim Cantori, live in Memphis for us right now. And Jim, all Although the threat for tornadoes may be moving off to the east, still got to worry about flash flooding and those damaging winds. Yeah, really, uh, as we kind of watch this whole thing unfold today, Crystal, a lot of reports of uh, overturned semis, especially on Interstate 40. There were, they even had to do a, a weather emergency at the airport in Little Rock, Arkansas. They're back up to normal now. There were power outages down there in Pulaski County. Uh, we've had power outages here. According to uh, the local news affiliate here in uh, Memphis, we've got as many as 10,000 people without power uh, as a result of the, you know, the gusty winds and certainly uh, some of this rain and heavy squall action that's come on through here. Let's take a look at the radar here guys as we see this again you can see the city of Memphis the city now where I am of course right down in the downtown area uh, over toward the river things have passed on through even though the sirens are still going around that's because we still have a warning out for Shelby County itself especially for the eastern part of the county and over toward Cordova and continuing uh, on off toward the east so we certainly have a chance for some damaging winds uh, up that way and really all across west central Tennessee in the southern Kentucky uh, on into northern Mississippi where we have several warnings which are still underway at the present time. This is a live look at the tower cam here uh, from Channel 5, the local affiliate here in uh, Memphis, Tennessee. And you're not seeing as numerous, uh, certainly the flashes. You can still see the heavy rain coming on down. Obviously, it's wet everywhere as we're seeing here down along the river here at Tom Lee Park, but certainly nothing like what we saw before. But guys, I got to tell you, just going back about 45 minutes to an hour ago, this is what we saw uh, as the squall line approaches from Arkansas. And then we had already a tornado warnings posted. And little did we know at the time there were actually sightings or reports of tornadoes in Lehigh and also Crawfordsville over here in uh, Arkansas and all that was coming our way but just very very ominous conditions and you know just seeing if you will the shelf cloud that was coming at us it's certain in this really low cloud base ahead of the main rain line uh, it certainly could give anybody an impression that there was a tornado coming at us but when this line moved through when this rain moved through we could not see over to the bridge all right, the DeSoto Bridge, which has been behind us all night in our shots, uh, we could not see that bridge at all. As a matter of fact, you couldn't see halfway to that bridge. And uh, all of a sudden, power went out just about everywhere here, and we slowly have seen these lights trickle back on both uh, up and down here, uh, the river uh, the river street uh, here that we're at. All right, let's bring in Dr. Greg Forbes and talk about this threat as we go on through the night tonight. Again, Greg, it's been mainly uh, one line here, but along this line, several bows. What do you see as the main threat area as we go through the rest of the night tonight? 
Well, it's going to be pushing across uh, the western half of Kentucky, uh, the western half of Tennessee, northwest Mississippi, uh, and uh, southeast Arkansas, northeast Louisiana. We have one storm, though. It's a little different in character from the rest. Uh, this is uh, Tennessee here. This is Kentucky. So we're in western Kentucky, south and east of Paducah. This storm is a supercell. You can see how the body of the storm, it has almost the bird wings, two spirals coming in and then wrapping around the inflow coming into this little notch where the green triangle is. So west of Cadiz there. Uh, tornado possible there. Uh, Murray, Cadiz heading toward the Hopkinsville area. Uh, there's been a carport blown away with this storm. So this is up near the warm front. It's not as warm as uh, there as when, it, when this uh, warm front came through Jim, but that's where the best rotation is. Then we have that squall line. Uh, here is Memphis, so it has gone past Memphis, but little kinks, uh, a big one here, uh, about 20 minutes away from Jackson, uh, Tennessee. Uh, another little kink at times heading toward Bolivar in Tennessee. And another big kink here east of Dyersburg heading toward the McKenzie, the Dresden area, and uh, Trenton in Tennessee. So uh, big uh, kinks there, a little different character, non-supercell tornadoes, uh, but shifting winds along the leading edge of uh, from west to south as you go eastward across this line. Now, Jim mentioned nighttime tornadoes. Let's go to our other source. And uh, this is an area known for a lot of nighttime tornadoes, and they're particularly dangerous. Almost 40% of the tornadoes in Mississippi, 46% almost in Tennessee uh, at night, a disproportional amount, and about 50% to even twice as many fatalities at night. You can't see them coming. People get uh, asleep, and so it's a dangerous situation. Let's go to our other source, and we'll see that we still have that threat east of Memphis, up across much of Kentucky. Kentucky, much of Tennessee, uh, northern Alabama, north and central Mississippi as we go into the overnight hours and tomorrow damaging wind gusts up in the mid-Atlantic, maybe New York City, Baltimore, Washington, Philadelphia, down to Norfolk and Raleigh. Not as big a tornado threat, tornado threat diminishing overnight. Crystal? Stay on top of breaking weather by signing up for our new service. It's simple to do. You just text TWC breaking right there. Like it's time to stock up. So save big at the PetSmart Stock Up and Save Sale. Save $5 on Purina One dog food and save $4 on Beneful dog food at PetSmart. Cold temperatures are expected tomorrow. Protect your pets by bringing them indoors. The inspiration for its shape was an archer drawing his bow. Could that have also inspired its 556 horsepower supercharged engine? The all-new Cadillac CTS-V Coupe. We don't just make luxury cars, we make Cadillacs. From jet engines that have fewer emissions, to new ways to charge electric cars, to renewable sources of clean energy, Eco-imagination from GE is advanced technology that's good for both the economy and the environment. It's technology that makes the world work. The seasons change, but we still may suffer from nasal allergy symptoms. They can hit you year-round, indoors or out. Oh, to have relief. Prescription Nasonex is clinically proven to help relieve nasal allergy symptoms, including congestion, runny and itchy nose, and sneezing. Side effects may include headache, viral infection, sore throat, nosebleeds, and coughing. Infections of the nose and throat and eye problems, including glaucoma or cataracts, may occur. Have regular eye exams. Slow wound healing may occur, so do not use Nasonex until your nose has healed from any sore, surgery, or injury. Nasonex can increase your risk of getting infections. Avoid contact with infections like chickenpox or measles while using Nasonex. It does not come in genetic form. Ask your doctor if Nasonex is right for you. If you want weather on your TV, just turn to the Weather Channel. On your computer, the Weather Channel online is weather.com. And with the Weather Channel mobile app, you can always take the weather with you. The source for weather, the Weather Channel. Wake up with Al and your weather today. Weekday mornings from 6 to 11 on the Weather Channel. And now, your local on the 8s. Currently in our area, 37 degrees under cloudy skies. Our local Doppler radar.
for tonight. Windy with rain likely. Low, 31. Winds northeast at 20 to 30 miles per hour. Rainfall around a half an inch. And on Friday, windy with a wintry mix of precipitation. High, 33. Chance of precipitation, 60%. One to three inches of snow expected. And Friday night, mainly cloudy. Low, 24. Winds north at five to 10 miles per hour. And on Saturday, cloudy, high, 40. Winds east at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook. Live-action radar, not only are we tracking uh, the severe weather erupting tonight, but also the cold and snowy side of things here through parts of Kansas, northern Missouri, into uh, central Illinois, and making its way into parts of the Ohio Valley, eventually into the overnight hours. We did have to, uh, we did hear reports of temporarily uh, closing down northbound I-35, the state line there in Kansas, because of the heavy snow. Kansas City, the airport already reporting two inches. Looks like the northern half of the metro will see on the range of three to five inches. So that mix of freezing rain and sleet early on has turned to all snow now. And this is going to be a concern here as well. Winter storm warnings posted. Tough traveling. KDOT just advising everybody to stay off the roads if you can. Heading out tomorrow morning, you'll need some extra time to navigate the roads. Snow packed and icy in a lot of areas. So let's talk about the severe now. Sure thing, uh, Crystal. You know, you see some of those warnings that are just going off and it's try to say the what of the in this case even the watches that you're looking at through western Kentucky it's only about 200 miles to the south where we're seeing the severe side of things you can see the camera outside in Memphis panning the skies just a short time ago as this line made its way through reduced visibility to uh, well less than a quarter mile again uh, really did cause a number of power outages we had seen a number of these also back through Arkansas pretty much going along with this line considering it has the potential of producing wind gusts up to 70 miles per hour not to mention some of the isolated tornadoes uh, that have been uh, at least Reported, as well as some of the uh, at least latest warnings that have been coming in. The latest uh, tornado warning right now are coming in out of Kentucky, South Central Kentucky, Central Christian County, and Eastern Trigg County until 8.30 p.m. Again, uh, this is a storm that actually had uh, these some reports as it made its way through Southern Graves County with some trees down across the county. So again, time now to keep our, should I say, take cover, Central Christian County and Eastern Trigg County there in Western Kentucky. And our storm tracker, Jim Cantore, is live in Memphis right now. Jim, you had to take shelter earlier. Uh, what is the latest at right. this hour? Well, the good news is within the last two minutes, Crystal, we have heard the, or not heard, I should say, the tornado sirens. They have just been discontinued here in Shelby County. I would imagine that's with the expiration or the cancellation uh, of the tornado warning, which is fine uh, by everybody here in the city, that's for sure. Again, we've had some sightings, but nothing confirmed yet at this time, and certainly no uh, reports yet of any major structural damage. Let's hope it stays that way. Let's take you back, though, 45 minutes to an hour, because it's been a wild ride here uh, on the Bluff City, and I'll tell you that, uh, as we watch just the skies light up, and I mean light up uh, in West Memphis, of course, which is in Arkansas. And all of a sudden you started seeing ground stroke lightning. And then it's like, you know what? It's time to take cover. It's time to, uh, to get the crew inside. My guys did a phenomenal job of getting the camera the lights inside a huge van in through here so that we could actually continue broadcasting through the whole thing. We took shelter within that van and obviously we're able to bring you uh, the, the coverage. Now we are not out of the woods yet, okay? I just saw a couple of uh, cells, especially one that's heading toward Trenton, Tennessee, uh, east of Dyersburg, that looks like it's gonna cause some major wind damage up there. Let's bring in Greg Forbes. Greg, first I, wanna, I want you to do this for me. Let's go back and look at these storms as they went through Memphis. Tell us about how they changed structurally. And then what do you see now since these storms have moved across the Mississippi River, they almost look a, a bit more individual and more potent, don't they? Yeah, the one up in Kentucky is definitely an isolated supercell right on the near the surface low. Uh, we'll start with where we are right now. Jim is here. You can see the rain has stopped. The sirens have stopped. The line is uh, the portion of the line went through him now is coming toward Jackson, Tennessee. So what they're seeing in Jackson is what Jim was seeing. And I took a slice through that. It's a bow echo, little kink in it. Tornado warning there. I took a slice through this and uh, let's take a look at that. I'll tip it up into the vertical. And that slice shows that because of the strong winds that are making these storms move 70 miles per hour, the storm leans off toward the east. So remember you were seeing the lightning uh, Jim was seeing before it started the rain. That was in these clouds. Now I'll uh, step backwards. In fact, I'll go back just about 45 minutes to when that line was coming toward Jim. There's Memphis. So then it started the rain. You saw it very suddenly go from just lightning to a wall of rain. 
and that's as these as this squall line came right through. You saw uh, low hanging clouds. Those were the shelf clouds right along that leading edge of the squall line with the bow echo as it came through. So. Uh, Crystal Todd, uh, this was quite a storm and it's not done yet. Still, eight tornado warnings all the way from western Kentucky down across west Tennessee, down into northwest Mississippi, northeast Louisiana. That's right, Dr. Forbes, and the new tornado watch out until 1 a.m. for central Kentucky and middle Tennessee. We continue to track severe weather right now on Weather Center. All right, you can see that latest watch that now includes the Nashville area all the way up towards Bowling Green, Kentucky. doesn't have to slow you down. Introducing Better Car Replacement, available only with Liberty Mutual Auto Insurance. If your car is totaled, we give you the money for a car one model year newer. To learn more, visit us today. Responsibility, what's your policy? Introducing a burst of good news. Silk Pure Almond now has 50% more calcium than dairy milk and still just 60 calories a glass. Pure Almond from Silk. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What is that song? What song? Normally in an insurance ad, this couple would be discussing insurance. I don't know. But at Physicians Mutual, we made things easy to understand. So now insurance is the last thing on their minds. That's gonna bug me all day. Me too. Maybe we should talk. Physicians Mutual. Insurance for all of us. Much that's taken for granted in a modern vacuum, like see-through bins, were pioneered by Dyson. But behind that bin lay something even more radical, root cyclone technology. Here, dirt and dust are hurled from the airflow by forces in excess of 136,000 Gs. And it's for this reason that Dyson cyclones capture more dirt than any other. How do you fit a bigger refrigerator into a smaller space? We did it by making it much bigger on the inside. More usable space with the revolutionary Kenmore Elite Refrigerator. That's genius. What's small, red, powerful, and helps support cardiovascular health? Mega Red Omega-3 Krill Oil from Schiff. Unlike fish oil soft gels, Mega Red soft gels are small and easy to swallow with no fishy smell or aftertaste. Try Mega Red today. The weather man. Good morning, everybody. The weather team. We have breaking news for you this morning. This is not a joke, people. It is going to get brutally cold. Weekday mornings from 6 to 11 Eastern. A lot of weather. Here's all the rain. There's a lot of action across the country. A big problem. Cancellations across the board. And a little fun. Frosty mini wheats and milk. Let them sit there, eat them, and then smell a band aid. Same thing, I swear. Oh. <laughs> and scene. Wake up with Al and your weather today. Save big money during the Menard Day Sale. Make your home projects easier with Stanley Hand Tools. They're all 20% off Menard's everyday low prices. Choose from a wide selection of hand saws, tape measures, screwdrivers, and more. Save energy and money with Sylvania Compact Fluorescent Light Bulbs, now all on sale. These micro mini bulbs last up to 10,000 hours. Choose from a three pack of soft white, bright white, or daylight bulbs, $5.95 each. Save big money at Menards. I'm back to doing what I love and more. I work eight, eight ten hours a day, probably 60% of the time I'm on my feet. I, I'm dead if I can't walk. I had severe pains in my feet. I'm walking around like this at night. So once I get my, my inserts there, I can stand up straight, I'm six foot one again. It took about two days for all the pain to go away. No pain. No pain. Zero pain. Thanks to the Good Feet Store. I love Wellesley, Mass. For continuing live coverage of ongoing severe weather across the country, stay with the Weather Channel. Now you're local on the 8s. Currently, the temperature is 36 degrees with light rain. Our local Doppler radar.
for tonight. Windy with rain likely. Low, 31. Winds northeast at 20 to 30 miles per hour. Rainfall around a half an inch. And on Friday, windy with a wintry mix of precipitation. High, 33. Chance of precipitation, 60%. One to three inches of snow expected. And Friday night, mainly cloudy. Low, 24. Winds north at five to 10 miles per hour. And on Saturday, cloudy, high, 40. Winds east at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Our seven-day outlook. We continue our severe weather coverage here tonight on Weather Center. Live action radar on the left of your screen as we track this line of severe storms racing into the Tennessee Valley. We have watches now, tornado watches, all the way up into central Kentucky and middle Tennessee, continuing through 1 a.m. So we have a long night ahead of us into the early morning hours. Those nocturnal tornadoes possible, which uh, can be very dangerous. And you can also see that uh, camera on the right side of your screen. That's coming in off Beale Street in Memphis. A uh, number of uh, police uh, lights, uh, at least in the uh, background there. Of course, uh, the street at this moment, uh, you just see a few people out there, but not seeing any cars going by. A uh, normally very busy area, of course. Also, a lot of power outages being reported through western Tennessee, uh, even in through uh, portions of Arkansas. And numbers are kind of all over, over the place at the moment. The biggest issue has been the winds. A very large swath of winds. You can see the line on the radar. Again, if you're in the line of that line, or should I say in the path of that line of uh, thunderstorms and in some cases severe thunderstorms get ready for some big winds easily upwards of 70 miles per hour and as Crystal just mentioned we've now extended some of those watches over into portions of Middle Tennessee including Nashville even back into uh, southwestern Kentucky including uh, Bowling Green uh, basically all the way up towards Danville not quite the Lexington area however up there you're dealing with very heavy rainfall this hour and remember if you're in that outlined red box of a tornado watch that means conditions are favorable for tornadoes or of course severe thunderstorms in and around your area so be on the lookout for severe weather. We are into uh, nighttime here, so that creates another scary situation. You want to have your weather radios handy and stay tuned to the Weather Channel, of course, as we keep you up to speed on all the warnings coming in. And uh, last count, we had about eight tornado warnings. Let's see where we're at uh, at this minute. I think it's very close to that still uh, at this hour because a number of them have been issued and then as the line makes its way farther to the east, they've been holding together very well. So they've been in some cases reissued or extended uh, in some cases farther eastward. Uh, there are still a number of areas that are still under tornado warnings. Of course, uh, in some cases you see those pop up on your screen. The easiest would actually read the text of the warning yourself. Of course, uh, your mobile device, if, you, if you're taking cover, take it with you. You can easily use uh, some of our apps to check that out. Uh, of course, to actually read that, but still dealing with some of these areas, even all the way down towards portions of Louisiana with some of these uh, tornado warnings. Right now, you're looking at all those red boxes. Those are the warnings through western Tennessee. And as Mike clicks through them, you can see some of these uh, expire at 8 o'clock. Some of them do go as far as 8.30 uh, Central Time, so still a little ways to go. Again, you can see uh, Chester, Fayette, uh, Hardeman County as well. Haywood also included in that. Uh, notice again, as we just kind of click along that line, so many counties, so many communities also included in this. Portions of I-40, if you're traveling, very treacherous conditions with these winds, uh, even regardless of the Regardless, I should say the chance for tornadoes. You're still talking wind gusts upwards of 70 miles per hour, a major issue for high profile vehicles. We have heard of a lot of issues today uh, with some problems, even back all the way down into uh, northwestern Louisiana. And if your county is in a tornado warning, you obviously want to take shelter immediately. Go to the lowest room of your home, get to, into an interior closet, an interior hallway. That would be the safest place to be. If you have a basement, obviously seek shelter there and uh, stay away from windows. We want to talk about Another area we're seeing uh, some active weather, which we'll get into in just a minute. Let's talk about some storm reports. First, the blue squiggly lines. Those are the damaging winds we've had. Uh, Memphis Airport reporting wind gusts as high as 49. This is causing power outages in Arkansas and West Tennessee tonight. And of course, you see the red icon there. That was at least one of the reported tornadoes across the area. Again, of course, these are only initial storm reports, uh, preliminary reports, call on that. However, uh, at least a few areas picking up on some of these with the locations. Again, we're continuing to see some of this line really hold together pretty well. And as these, uh, at least the warnings continue to propagate east, you can expect both these reports as well as some of the at least power reports we've had. Again, loss of power across a number of these areas thanks to how large of an area is at least under the gun for the winds 
as well as again some very active lightning at this yeah, hour. And possibly flash flooding as we continue to see these uh, incredible rainfall rates. Let's talk about the snow and update now on the other side where we have cold and uh, snow affecting places like Kansas City up to two inches at the airport already. We'll likely see three to five inches through some of these northern suburbs. Look at that swath of snow. Haven't yet seen this affect, uh, affect Chicago just yet, but we are forecasting a couple inches for you as we head through the next uh, 24 hours into Detroit. But looks like the heaviest snow is going to be to your south, but a lot of problems on the roads. I-135 and I-35 throughout uh, the Kansas area. We continue to watch those come in on Twitter and uh, some of the reports of freezing rain also causing a number of issues. Uh, marker 31 closed on I-135 uh, out of Harvey, Kansas. So the snowfall, the other side of the system, the farther south you go along that warm front, of course, erupting with severe weather tonight. And I, I have to make a note, at least uh, Chicago, you mentioned that we only need 0.8 inches of snow to have the snowiest February on record. And for a place like Chicago, that's a substantial thing. Uh, so at this point, again, we're forecasting, I want to say two to four for Chicago. Some of the heavier numbers are just a little bit onto the south. But again, we're seeing just a little bit of every Thing with this system. Uh, absolutely, and we'll continue to monitor it. Of course, we have live continuing coverage all night long into the morning hours as that threat for tornadoes continues now into Middle Tennessee and Central Kentucky through 1 a.m. A lot more to come. We'll be right back. Pool filled with caramel? Not as good as chocolate filled with caramel. Introducing Milky Way Simply Caramel. Life's better the Milky Way. The weekend is coming! The weekend is coming! The weekend is coming! This Saturday at Ace, take 20% off almost anything that fits into an Ace bag so you can turn your to-do list into a to-done list. Get ready for the weekend at Ace, the helpful place. Somewhere in America, there's a doctor who can peer into the future. There's a nurse who can access in an instant every patient's past. And because the whole hospital's working together, there's a family who can breathe easy right now. Somewhere in America, we've already answered some of the nation's toughest healthcare questions. And the over 60,000 people of Siemens are ready to do it again. Siemens answers. Do you have something for pain? Oh, bare aspirin. I'm not having a heart attack. It's my back. It works great for pain. Nothing's proven to relieve pain better than extra strength bare aspirin. It rushes relief to the site of pain. Feel better? Yeah, thanks for the tip. While others are content to imitate, we'll continue to innovate. The Lexus RX. Why settle for a copy when you can own the original? See your Lexus dealer. What's up? Oh, my feet are killing me. You should get some Custom Fit Orthotics. Dr. Scholl's Custom Fit Orthotics Center. It recommends the Custom Fit Orthotic that's best for your feet. And foot care scientists are behind it. You'll get immediate comfort. And you could save a couple hundred bucks. For locations, see drscholls.com. Snowstorms, heavy wind and rain. Now the growing threat of tornadoes. Severe weather sweeps across the nation. For continuing live coverage of these dangerous conditions, stay with the Weather Channel, the Severe Weather Authority. The Weather Channel is brought to you by this cable or satellite provider. You can also get reliable forecasts from the Weather Channel through this radio station or newspaper. For continuing live coverage of ongoing severe weather across the country, stay with the Weather Channel. Now you're local on the 8s. Currently in our area, 36 degrees with light rain. local Doppler radar.
for tonight. Windy with rain likely. Low, 31. Winds northeast at 20 to 30 miles per hour. Rainfall around a half an inch. And on Friday, windy with a wintry mix of precipitation. High, 33. Chance of precipitation, 60%. One to three inches of snow expected. And Friday night, mainly cloudy. Low, 24. Winds north at five to 10 miles per hour. And on Saturday, cloudy, high, 40. Winds east at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Our week ahead. Wake up with Al and your weather today. Weekday mornings from 6 to 11 on the Weather Channel.